afternoon everyone and welcome to our OSHA live video. Today, how is how are you all and do let me know um, where you're tuning in from today. I would love to hear who we've got joining us this afternoon. Hi there Selena, lovely to have you. Do let me know where you're coming, um, where you're tuning in from today, let me know how you're getting on and I'd love to hear um, what your first signs of spring are, where you are. So we have had a really wet and windy March but yesterday we had that little bit of sunshine warmth come through which I think just put us all in a better mood um, going forward into the spring and just thinking you know, brighter, nicer, warmer weather is on the way here in Scotland, hopefully. <laughs> so today we have got two um, of our new OSHA releases to show you and I will also be um, giving you some information about the pre-order which is just about to open at 4 o'clock this afternoon. So if you're interested in the next full custom pre-order, the OSHA Garden pre-order, I'll have um, the warp and some of the wefts to show you and I'll be able to give you a little bit of information about the patterns and there's a new pattern there as well. So I'll be able to show you those at the end of the video. Um, hi there Vanessa, lovely to have you tuning in from France. Welcome. <laughs> so first of all we're going to look at the beautiful new Silent Night Delights. So this is our stunning new release. Uh, woven on our purple galactic warp and this one is interesting because it has a weft grad so we've got this striking weft gradation from a beautiful kind of cherry red through a lovely deep orange and up into a light spring yellow buttercup kind of yellow colour and then it merges back into that lovely red, orange and yellow. And this one is 100% organic combed cotton. So it's a real lovely all-rounder. So you're going to be able to use this one from toddlerhood, sorry, from baby all the way up to toddlerhood. Um, and it's easy, an easy care sling so you can put it through its paces and it will be absolutely fine no matter um, <laughs> when you're wearing it or how you want to um, care for it. It's super easy care um, to wash and dry the 100% cotton wrap which I know when you've got little ones is super handy. So you can see that weft grad on the underside really clearly as I hold out the passes there. Um, so you've got your red going into your um, orange and yellow. So I'm just going to pop this in a, up in a front wrap cross card. I'm going to, going to do a um, pond finish with it because I think when you've got that lovely um, weft grad, a uh, little bit of a fancy finish can be just beautiful. So I'll just position that round there and get the, I guess I wanted to have a little bit of a transition going on in the middle of the sling so I'm just gonna swing this round a little bit. Um, so we have Amber here who was our tester, welcome Amber, and she has said I had no worries at all while I was dra dragging this around DC, <laughs> indeed. So Amber tried out this sling with her two little rappies, which she was calling her toddlerinas. <laughs> so Amber has a two year old and a four year old and she tried this sling with both of them and um, found that it was much more um, supportive and snug than um, she imagined it would be. So it was much more comfortable. Um, I think when you're an experienced wrapper and you, you try a 100% organic combed cotton sling, you sometimes, um, yeah, you maybe have low expectations, would that be right, Amber? And, um, 
perhaps, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you were pleasantly surprised with the wrapping qualities. And of course, it sounds like your favourite colour is purple and your favourite um, pattern is Star Night, uh, Silent Night. So um, hopefully that was the perfect one for you. <laughs> um, I just realised my light isn't quite on here at that side, so that should give us even more pop. bring up my baby and I think we have seen Anya join us who is our tester for our Augmenta Lune which I'm going to be showing you next. Um, so brilliant that we've got both of our testers here on the live so do chip in with anything you think I should add or any of your thoughts at all. We'd love to hear how you got on with these slings. So I'll just tighten up the first pass again you can see that lovely weft grad coming all the way over. So this one, um, as I've mentioned before, it is 100% organic comb cotton. Um, the weight of it is 289 GSM, so it's quite a kind of medium weight sling, so it's going to be a good all-rounder. You'll be able to use it with newborns and toddlers. Um, our tester Amber has mentioned that the grip to glide ratio is really satisfying. So she um, had said the smoothness of the organic comb cotton makes it easy to spread the passes while the texture of the pattern provides nice grip and helps lock things in place. And I'm certainly feeling the same as I am tying this wrap. Um, of course I'm going to do a little fancy finish just here as we go. Bring that underneath. Um, so that you can see some of these lovely colours coming across the wrap and I'm going to do a little twist at this side um, trying to show off some of the other colours as we go and then I will tie at the back I think I'll go over her leg and tie at the back so this one is 168 including that for a size 6. Um, it has the weft, lovely weft grad um, all the way across the sling which just adds that interest of colour and indeed as Amber says the texture of the pattern kind of adds to that lovely grippiness. So this, there we are, silent night delight and I think the kind of colour combo of this one as Amber's mentioned as well it's a lovely kind of springy sling um, it kind of makes you think of Easter um, if you celebrate it's kind of a perfect little pops of colour here and there just kind of emerging from that lovely purple warp um, so I'll show you that sling there we are. Now let me see what other comments we have. Um, Amber says as well, it twists up so nice and tidy. So that's a really lovely comment as well. Um, do let me know if you have any questions at all. Um, Amber says, ah, ha, ha, yes, absolutely. It's easy to think, oh, it's just organic from cotton, but I was so happy how comfortable and supportive it was with both of my girls in single and multi-layer carries. Well, that's great to hear that, Amber. I think sometimes whenever, you know, you get into lots of different blends and wrapping and trying things, you don't often try, you know, the the kind of basic range, if you like. And actually, I think that um, having an opportunity to do that and going for something that is maybe more to do with colour and pattern, why not? Um, hi, Rose. Lovely to join. have you join us lovely so do let us know if you have any questions at all as I mentioned so this one's going to be available in ready-made wraps and ring slings as well as ready-made keras um, so I might pop the keras on um, for you to see um, at the end as well and um, it is um, also going to be available as made to order so you can order any accessories like a gorgeous scarf for a shawl or a cowl as well for the kind of inter-season that we're in at the moment um, so yeah it's easy care it's um, a great all-rounder it's going to be suitable for all seasons and all age of baby and toddler 
and take my little baby out of it just now and I will pop him down at the moment. As I mentioned there before, um, it does come in a Keras, ready-made Keras as well, so I thought I'd maybe show you that quickly just to give you a reminder of the Keras. So this is our tie strap carrier and it is a um, We've got, we've got this lovely padded waistband here that goes right way around your waist and just prevents any digging in. And then the matching webbing. So we always carefully match the webbing as best we can to kind of go with the overall aesthetics of the sling. So you've got a kind of complete beauty <laughs> on your hands um, and without any black kind of boring webbing or grey standard webbing for your carrier. It's not the OSHA way, is it? Um, so I'll just pop my baby into the Keras, bring her up like so, and you can use the Keras from newborn as well. So there's a lovely trick that you can use, um, which actually I couldn't be show you just now, just in case you haven't seen this. So you can actually um, adjust the Keras so that it looks, uh, so it wraps almost like a front wrap cross carry. So you go under the arm, reach round and catch your arm strap and this is what I used with my little boy um, when he was just a few weeks old um, I actually really loved the Keras as an option um, for carrying him um, I felt that it was a really nice not to have any kind of bulkiness going on around under his knees or under his legs um, and I just really liked carrying him in this particular way um, so you can make it almost like a little front wrap cross carry. So you go under the arms, over the back, down the sides, and then you're crossing under bum, and then under the leg, and tying a double knot at the back. And that's a really nice alternative way to adjust your Keras carrier um, so that you can make it fit perfectly for a newborn. Um, and then of course it goes all the way up to two, or maybe even two and a half depending on, and it's a really great one for back carries, I'll show you back carry next time. Um, you can even pa spread those passes a little bit if you want over your shoulder, um, and it just makes for a really lovely snug Keras um, carry. Um, so that's a really nice option as well. So you have a kind of hybrid, that's the great thing about the Keras, it's kind of a hybrid between a wrap and a carrier. Um, and it's a great for first time back carries. So if you are, um, if you have got a carer, or if you're nervous about starting back carries, then I would say this is a really good option. So that's the Silent Night Delights and um, Keras, tied um, with the front wrap cross carry method, a really good adjustment for newborns if you have a little one and you're looking to use a carrier rather than a wrap. Of course, wraps are absolutely wonderful for newborns, but I know that sometimes there's a time and a place um, for wraps and a time and a place for carriers, and this is a really nice middle ground. So that's the Keras. Okay, now we're going to show you our Augmenta Line, um, Lineate, and this one is a quilt weave. So, wow. Aren't those colours just stunning? So this is our second and our final um, release on our Weave Up Warp, which I showed you last time with the Middle Earth pattern Oaken Shield. This is our um, Faces of the Moon pattern of Minta Lune, and it has this lovely border along with the star signs, and then beautiful stars in between and then the phases of the moon there in the middle and you'll notice that the colors of this one are really crisp really sharp and that's because it is a pocket weave and what's more it's a quilt weave so it works in the same way as a pocket weave where you've got two layers of cloth and in between the blank areas here you'll have pockets of air but with the quilt weave, we've added um, lovely cushy quilted, um, sorry, 
quilt yarns which go all the run all the way through and that just adds this amazing kind of cush and this extra supportive quality to the sling so it's almost like pocket weave on steroids <laughs> so it's one step even more cushy and I know that Anya um, she tried this one out and I don't know Anya if we had shared with you that it was actually a quilt weave when you were trying it so we'd love to hear your thoughts on that I think Louise may have contacted you about that um, earlier today just to, to make you aware I'm not sure whether you kind of noticed that it was um, kind of even more uh, cushy than a regular pocket weave because I know that you've tried the pocket weaves before um, and you can read um, Anya's uh, review on Clanosha as well and she's got some lovely comparison pictures with some of the other augmented patterns so you can see the difference um, that the pocket weave and the quilt weave makes to the crispness of the pattern. So as I mentioned earlier, um, this one has been woven on our um, weave up warp which is where we um, look to all of our um, yarns, the kind of last few bits of yarns that we've had from different um, we, uh, weave runs and put them all together in this lovely blue grad. So we've got this stunning kind of dark um, navy at this side coming all the way through to this lovely teal and fresh uh, blue colour at the end here and this um, using up the yarns in this way is um, is a really great way of avoiding them going into landfill so most other companies would just say to the mill no we don't want the rest of that you know we don't need it and um, it, we haven't been able to use it all whereas at OSHA we get our um, we ask our mill to um, keep hold of everything and we try to use every last bit um, so that actually means that we get to have uh, um, so I'm just distracted a little bit by the comments there but it means that we get to have these really unique pieces that have been woven specifically from all these odds and ends of colour yarns um, and it actually means that we get to have um, some really lovely unique pieces so um, with this one there's actually a tiny bit of uh, tensile in there, so one of the weft yarns. Um, so we've got black going over in the weft which just tones down the colour of the warp, the warp colours. So we have 6% tensile in there as one of the black yarns. And then the other um, weft yarns are obviously the, the, the lovely gold colours that you're seeing and they're 100% organic cotton. So everything that's been used in this sling is all from those leftover um, yarn weave runs so I'm just going to pop this thing on and then I'll come and have a wee look at your comments there's lots of questions which is great um, so pop my baby in so this one will be really lovely and suitable from probably slightly older babies so you may be sort of I know that Anya said maybe six months up I mean depending on the size of your baby you might want to consider a wee one maybe four months up that has got um, you know that, that wouldn't have a lot of bulk underneath so you could do a kangaroo carry maybe or you could do a front, a front cross carry and just make sure to do that Lexi twist under the bottom so that um, I'll show you that so that you're not getting the bulk of the sling underneath baby's legs um, but certainly Anya has said that it will so it softens up and blooms um, after washing so this is obviously an unwashed um, of Menta and you can see that the that it is very soft in hand um, it has got a weight to it um, so it's 311 I believe I've got my notes right here yes 311 GSM um, and it is um, yes that lovely kind of quilted weave are going to feel that kind of extra cush um, but it was going to be amazing for heavy or heavy babies and toddlers and um, our tester Anya said that she tried this one with her two-year-old um, and he in single layer carries and felt weightless um, which is really great to hear so you can do a twist if you're carrying a smaller baby and just avoid going under the legs 
um, with that little extra bit of bulk. Um, so I'm just going to tie this one off. And remember at the end of this video I will show you the um, warp from the Osha's Garden pre-order which is coming up. Um, it's going through opening today at 4, um, but it won't be closing till next Tuesday. So you will have plenty of time to check that out after the live. So I'm just doing my double knot here at the back and I can show you that there as well. So if you're looking to see the size of the knot. But it's really lovely and cushy. It feels super supportive. Um, like Annie says, very weightless um, once you've got your baby tied in. Um, you're going to be able to carry in comfort for a good while. Lovely. Okay, I'm going to come up and have a look at some of your questions. Um, let's see. Hmm. Okay. So, lovely. Right, we'll start here. Um... Mariella says, oh wow, this is amazing. Um, Amber has just said, I was so excited to read in the email that this is a quilt weave. Yes, indeed. And Julia says, it's so pretty. And Amber has asked, Hannah, can you please confirm the dark rail is the top rail? I'm considering a ring sling and want to be sure, thank you. Yes, the dark rail, the way I have it worn at the moment, that is the top rail of this sling. So you, if you're looking for a ring sling, then depending on which shoulder you choose, if you go for a right shoulder, you'll have the rings here and the dark blue across the top of the sling. Um, Vanessa says, not my colour, but I would love to try this blend. Yeah, it's a pretty cool blend. And Anya says, yes, I was thinking it could be a quilted weave because it looks and feels a bit like Ray Pikna. Yes, which I tried when it was released. It feels really extra cushy. Yes, and Anya was saying as well that it really like blooms up and kind of, you can see those real pockets whenever you wash it. So after the first washing, you kind of, becomes even more soft and more malleable and you start to see these lovely kind of like textured um, pockets of the fabric um, all the way across. So I would definitely check out um, um, Anya's review if you're looking to see some photos of what it looks like once it's been washed and the kind of loom to bloom. <laughs> and Pam says, I love those crisp lines indeed. There's such a lovely um, quality that we can achieve when we're doing the quilt weave. Um, and the pocket weave uh, slings. So, um, yes, so um, as I was saying with um, Anya's review says, she was saying that when it's wrapped, it stays perfectly in place, there's zero sag and has a lot of cush on the shoulders and that her little boy feels weightless in a sing even in a single layer carry. So just as a summary, this one is 94% BCI organic combed cotton and 6% tinsel and it's 311 GSM. And for a size 6, this one is 198 including VAT. Um, and I would say neither of them are, are limited. This one particularly, we do have a nice long run of it. So you should be able to order um, this one in any size and any of your items that you wish. The Silent Night Delight's a tiny little bit less of that one, but it's still, I would say, quite a generous amount. So, um, yeah, there should be plenty of that one as well. Of course, it's hard to know for sure whenever we release these items um, how quickly they're going to go. But I would say that you've got a bit of time for both. Um, so, yes, but you should join us for Secret Stash Happy Hour on Wednesday. Um, where we'll be able to chat a little bit more about um, what's coming up, but also um, you, yeah, these ones will be um, live at about half past seven. We also have some scrap packs and draw to purchase and things like that happening on Wednesday. Um, so yes, I would say that the Augmenta is a, is an eco-friendly um, sling, so you've got those yarns that would, would otherwise go into landfill. 
um, and it's a lovely all-rounder, um, maybe slightly older babies um, up until toddlerhood beyond and it's really cushy and supportive. Um, Christine is asking, oh these warp colours are gorgeous, sorry if you've already answered this as I'm just catching up, will there be any other patterns coming? No, so it's just this one and the Oki Shield. So these are the two that we have on this warp and with this left actually as well. Um, so yes, and now I'm going to show you and tell you a little bit more about the Osha's Garden pre-order. So, for those of you who haven't seen the gorgeous warp, this is the yarn, these are the yarn colours of the warp. Now of course I'm standing in front of the light ring here so um, it is difficult to be able to convey the exact colours. Um, but this is definitely as close as we can and I'll just tilt that right in some different directions so that you can see it nice and clearly there. And this group was set up for nature lovers and they've now completed all of the pattern and the weft selections and completed all of the polling and the pre-order goes live right now. <laughs> so you can check out all of the beautiful um, mock-ups online after the live video and you'll be able to see all of the information there. But I've got some wefts for you to see. So, and a little bit of information about which patterns are coming in the different wefts. So um, there's a few items that are coming with the blue rail on the top, um, but I think the majority have the purple at the top. Um, so we've got this lovely um, wet spun, oh, um, let me just see. So the new pattern, I'll show you the new pattern, the wild rose. Um, so this is the thick almond buff linen here. And this and um, which is going to be on the wild rose pattern which I'll show you which is a brand new pattern that um, we've worked on for this group as a request from the admin so it's a combination of two of our existing patterns so I'll show you those in a second then we've got trees of gondor which is coming in the piece silk so to hold that over we've got trees of gondor coming in the piece silk lovely um, and then the koi and the briarwood, we've got those are both um, hybrid um, items. So I think there might even be a third hybrid, um, if I'm not incorrect. Um, so we've got the koi and the briarwood. So we've got the thick almond buff linen um, for the, and these lovely, um, I think, so thick almond buff linen and these two yellowy kind of goldy wefts and that's for the the koi um, with the and then we've got the so that's those ones and this and then for the briarwood we have got the dark blue here along with the buff linen that lovely thick linen there um, and then the Doors of Durin, yes, is also a hybrid as well. So you've got three hybrids, the Koi, the Briarwood and the Doors of Durin. And that's the lovely thick buff linen here. Um, and then you've got a thin cotton weft grad, um, which is the Simone Sun and Radiant Yellow. So that's that one. Lovely. Okay, so I've mistaken tiny bit there. So the, the Koi and the Briarwood are this lovely linen here plus the dark blue and um, so you'll see some lovely definition with the fish and the koi and the birds and the briarwood and then you've got um, the doors of durin which is this one and then a weft grad this one and then we have lotus which has ecru viscous linen slub and then the succulents and the hobbiton are beautiful um, gorgeous cushy um, weft yarns with um, alternating uh, barrette silk and um, superwash cashew weft. So they're going to be lovely and cushy and that beautiful um, weft. Um, so 
really interesting blends, some lovely yarns have been chosen and three hybrids. Um, let me see, there's a question there. Dorset Journey is also hybrid with, with Grad Weft. Yes, indeed, that is correct. So I believe we have this um, in the um, linen and then we also have um, the cotton um, weft grad for the Dorset Journey. So that's really unusual. It's going to be gorgeous. Um, yes, perfect. All right, and this so this um, pre-order will open on um, this afternoon. I think it should be open now, and then it will close next Tuesday, the second of April. So um, there is plenty of time to get your orders in. Um, I just want to show you that a little bit closer up again. Um, so if you're not part of the group and you love the look of these colours and these wefts or the patterns then do join the group um, and you can see where their concept began and get involved in all the chatter and be around for spares and all of that kind of thing down the line so I definitely recommend joining the group if you're interested in that. So I have just a couple of extra things to tell you today so we have launched our OSHA pre-loved um, section on our website so we're working with a third party called Treat and you can list um, if you're living in the UK or the US you can list your pre-loved OSHAs um, for sale there if you wish so that's an alternative place to um, face the Facebook the amazing Facebook buy sell trade groups so if that's not for you then you can always look to the OSHA pre-loved site for um, buying and selling um, pre-loved OSHAs which is a way for us to um, make sure that we're kind of uh, fulfilling our sustainability um, goals and making sure that we provide uh, places for you to sell on, reuse, um, upcycle your <laughs> um, OSHA wraps and products. And we also um, have are just this afternoon we're going to be launching a waiting list for our brand new Ombre Hemo carrier. So if you are interested in um, the OSHA Ombre Hemo, which will be launching soon, um, we have designed the most gorgeous Ombre Hemo uh, specifically for back carries from the ages of um, about six months up to about two years old beautiful OSHA fabrics um, and we're launching a waiting list for it and an interest list so that if you are interested in the Ombre Hemo you can join that, you'll be the first to hear about everything um, but also it will mean that we're able to um, create a it's almost like a waiting list for production slots so we have we will have a minimum number of production slots and obviously we want to make sure that we can fulfill those with the fabrics that we have available um, instead of making ready-made items for the launch so if you want to be one of the first people to be um, to be able to order um, have a chance to order the OSHA on the Hemo then you should look out for the waiting list uh, we will be putting a link up in Clan OSHA um, this afternoon so you can join that there and get all of the information um, first. So do join us for Secret Stash Happy Hour on Wednesday and uh, that's the 27th of March um, 2024 where you will see the Augmenta Lineate um, which is just the most gorgeous cushy uh, quilt weave. Um, we haven't done a quilt weave for quite some time and we probably won't do another one for quite some time. So this is your chance to get um, a quilt weave OSHA in one of our most stunning and popular patterns and colourways. And then we also have the beautiful Silent Night Delights which is just such a stunning colourway and is a great all-rounder for everyone. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, oh, I have one extra thing that I said I was going to show you, just one second. Um, so, we have a, one new pattern, um, which is a combination of our Aran pattern. Now, this is a, um, this is a hybrid, um, I think it's actually a pocket weave, um, Aran, but it gives you the idea of the pattern um, across here. So, we've got these sections of um, Aaron flowing across the warp with the lovely 
floral areas of our Kaffir Kelly design. So this is the new um, pattern kind of um, kind of uh, combo, um, which is going to be Wild Rose, and that is the one that will be the, for the very first time in the Osho Garden pre-order, which is opening today. So if you do want to see a full mock-up of it, you can look on the website now, or you can join the group, and you'll see these lovely details from the Kaffir Kaley floral areas and the lovely knit pattern work of our Aran design which is a brand new um, thing which will be a brand new and um, pattern which will be released through the pre-order and will be the first thing to weave in that new design. So thank you so much for watching this afternoon and I look forward to chatting with you all again in a couple of weeks time. I hope if you're celebrating that you have a lovely Easter weekend this coming weekend and we look forward to chatting with you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.